Hello people of the internet, my haws of happiness. I hope you are doing well today. In today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, I will be showing you guys what is on my iPhone iOS 14 edition. So without any further ado, let's get on to the video. Okay, so this is my lock screen. It's just this London telephone pole um, that's like pink, which it's everything and then it has like a lamppost next to it I just thought it was very nice and especially since it's pink like pink is one of my favorite colors so um yeah so when you first open it goes to my um like home page but we're going to go like back one so um the first little widget that I have is just a to-do list and I just have to finish my geometry homework which I've already done do an all-state audition it's like this like chorus thingy and then I also have to film this video which I'm doing right now and then edit the video as well and then I have the widget stacked so um it also has like the date like Thursday October 8th 2020 but I keep it on my to-do list just so I don't forget what I need to do so the first thing that I have is just mail, calendar, um, photos, camera, maps, clock, weather, notes, settings, app store, and then my irrelevant folder which is just everything that I don't really use. And then I have Apple TV. I just recently got Apple TV literally like yesterday. Yeah, like yesterday. And um, I'm like, I really want to watch the morning show so that's one of the things that I'm going to do. And then I just have um, fitness and this is connected to my Apple Watch right here. And um, then I just have the Apple Watch app, pretty basic. Then if you swipe to the left, I just, <laughs> this picture is not flattering, ugh, I, mm, goes to a bad time. So then I just have the smaller widget that um, has a calendar, and then I have the weather, which it's very hot right now. It says it's 91 degrees, but you guys won't be able to see it because it shows my location. And then I have the battery widget, which I, I actually find really helpful because then I don't have to like go like climb down my bed and then see if my AirPods are charged or if my Apple Watch is charged. I can just look at it from the widget. And then I'm also going to blur this because I have the maps and it just shows like any near nearby places and things like that. And then um, I just have the screen time widget, which I actually use. I try to keep track of my screen time because I'm um trying to like look at my screen less then i have safari which i use a, i use safari, safari a lot like i google things like maybe like 50 like google 50 different things a day like i'm i'm very cute i'm a very curious person then i have canvas which is just like my school's like portal for grades and things and um then you swipe to the right and then there's this widget and it's the eiffel tower widget oh my gosh it's like so pretty i got all of these like um kind of like um, pictures from Pinterest. So it's just this Eiffel Tower widget. It's so cute and very pink. And then I have this like girl like reading like a newspaper in front of the Eiffel Tower, which is like everything. And then I also have Audrey Hepburn because she's a queen. That's all. And then um, I also have my reminders and then I have files which I use for background music but I use that on my iPad. The next thing that I have is my no Wi-Fi um, folder and this is just full of games that don't require Wi-Fi in case I'm like um, at a place where there's like bad um, service or things like that. So basically I just have charades which I play when I'm like out with friends. I haven't been out with friends in a while. I haven't played this since October of last year. Um, and I have 2048 which I actually play on my Apple Watch. Then I have bubblegum hero which I, I actually really do play I play I don't play it on my phone but I play it more on my Apple watch and it's a really fun game and then I have subway surfers then I have flow which I actually don't use that like I don't play I just downloaded downloaded it one time because it was like part of my childhood and I wanted to feel nostalgic the next app that I have is Disney Crossy Road I played this like last summer for like like religiously it was it was a whole thing like I loved I loved Disney Cross the Road. I still like the game, but I just don't play it as much. Then I have BitLife. Then I have Toka Hair Salon. And then I have Toka World, which is a fun game. Then I have my Angela, which I I don't really play. Then I have Tom Friends, which I kind of play. Then I have Blundy. Blundy is just, like a nice like game that you don't have to think about. And ASMR Slicing. That one's a good one like, to just not think about. Then I have Sky Burger because it's some like a game that I played on my aunt's iPhone 4 back in like 2012, I think. Like like these games are like ancient like these next couple of games and i have fun run i used to play fun run a lot like i used to play it when i was like little Ugh, i was so good at fun run now i like suck anyways then i have where's my water too so that's it for that folder then i just have my health stuff folder i have clue 
Um, and then I have Sleep Cycle and Nike Training Club, which I don't use. Then I have Swerk It, don't use. FitBod, don't use. And then I have Fit Track Pro, which is just for the scale that my mom um, got sent um, to like do a review do a review on or something the next folder that i have is camp stuff and i just have youtube netflix disney plus and hulu which i use on a daily basis i mostly use youtube and netflix on a daily basis um let me show you guys what i'm watching on netflix i just think that would be fun okay so right now i'm watching gilmore girls literally the best show in the entire planet well besides friends but like then i'm watching my little pony sister sister my babysitter's a vampire that it's a good show then I also have Dolly Parton's Heartstrings. I only started watching it because like one of my favorite actors was in it, Jennifer Goodwin. And then I also have Sweet Magnolias, which I, I can't, I'm not really that into, but I still kind of watch it. So yeah. Then I have Disney Plus and Hulu, like I already said. And then I have TikTok. Everyone has TikTok. Every, I feel like everyone has TikTok, but it's like an addiction. Then I have Roblox, which I don't really play on my phone, but I kind of play it when I'm like on the go or if I'm at school, etc., etc. Then I have Pinterest, which I use for like, like, for like, um, fandoms. And then I also use it for like cute pictures and like outfit ideas, things like that. Then I have Bitmoji. My Bitmoji is so much, so like fashionable, so much more fashionable than me. Like literally look at her. Like she's, she's such a fashion icon. Like look, like look at this outfit. I wish, I wish I had the style that my Bitmoji has. Like it, it's, it's unmatched. Her style is unmatched. Okay, next. Then I have Discord, which I use for um, some of my subscriptions. Like, I'm subscribed to um, It's Aquila, Amberry, Feeberry. I, like, watch their videos, like, all the time. I really like their videos. Then I also have um, WhatsApp. Then I have Giphy. Gif? Gif. And I just use this for GIFs. Usually, like, I used to do this a lot, but I used to, like like download the thing like the gif as a live photo and then use it as my wallpaper which is really nice and then i have tlc go which i used to use a lot when i had like cable and like live tv but now like we don't use that we have like a, um a fire stick so we just watch all like um streaming services like netflix hulu disney plus etc etc then i have mario kart i used to play this mario kart mario kart is so fun i used to play this all the time last year when it first came out Whenever there is a new challenge, you best believe I was one of the first ones to complete it. Anyways, then I have Tiny Decisions, and I'm a very undecisive person. Then I have Just Dance Now, which is such a fun thing. Like, it's like a, a Just Dance for mobile. Really good. Then I have House Party. Then I have Combine, which I haven't used, but it's like a virtual closet. It's kind of like Clueless vibes, like in the beginning, where she like, where Cher is like, like choosing her outfits, like everything. Then I have Google Photos, which I actually don't really use. I used it when I like was running out of storage. Then I have Widget Smith, which I use um, for my widgets. And there's a bunch of videos on how to use this app and how to do um, how to like use widgets and like how to make them and stuff. Um, I could make a video on it, but there's like you guys probably already know how to do it, so I'm not I'm not even gonna bother. But I have um, a bunch of different widgets and things, and I just think they're very nice. The next thing that I have is HBO Max. I don't actually have HBO Max. Like I really really want it. Like I just I really want HBO Max so that I can be able to watch Friends for free and Euphoria. Like I heard that Euphoria is such a good show, but I really want to watch HBO HBO Max, but I can't. Then I have Among Us. Among Us is such a fun game. It's a really fun game. Like I play it a lot. Um, with like random people and then I play it with my brother and then like some kids from like my show choir class they play Among Us but I haven't actually gotten a chance to play with them but like it's a really fun game so I really recommend it if you guys like like quick and easy games or like games where like you kind of get your heart rate up and stuff you know like then the next folder that I have is YouTube and editing and I just have Fonto which I don't really use on here then I have Video Leap which I also don't use on here then I have Pixar also don't use on here and then I also have YouTube studio which helps me manage my YouTube channel then I have magic eraser which erases the background out of images I don't really use it on here either then I have subscriber count then I have TubeBuddy, which just helps me um, like uh, explore like tags or titles then I have Lightroom which I actually don't use and it's just kind of like a filter um, kind of app by Adobe but you make your own filters and they're very customizable I love Lightroom. I use it all the time. Then I have Snapbridge for um, in 
for the Nikon camera. I'm using the Canon G7X right now, but um, the Nikon camera is like a DSLR camera. I tried to use it and it just didn't really work out, so now I'm using this one. And then I have Unfold, which turns your um, photos into Polaroids, like like look like the Polaroid template, I guess. And then I have Canva, which I actually don't really use that much. So the next folder is what I like to call Edumacation, and it just has the Remind app, which I use. Like, like teachers can send reminders to the students. And then I have the Canvas app, which I use to like manage my grades and um, look at assignments, etc., etc. Then I have Google Drive, which I use um, for like um, pers my personal account and for my school account. I mostly use Google Drive for school, though. And then I have Photomath. Whoever created Photomath is a saint. Then I have Socratic, which works with word problems, um, for math, because you know word problems, I hate word problems, anyways. It just works with word problems, it works with anything, it doesn't even have to be math, it can be like language arts or whatever, because I know that some language arts teachers get their tests from online, and like you like Google it and then you get the whole Quizlet, everything. Then I have Google Docs, which I use mostly for school, but I also use for um, my personal account as well. Then I have Google Slides, which I only exclusively use for um, school. Then I have Zoom, then I have Apple Translate, I don't know, I just put it in there because I feel like you could learn something. <laughs> and then I have Speechify, which um, I use for like, um, like when you can like take a picture of it, like of like um, words, words, yeah, and then it will like read it back to you. Sometimes I just don't feel like reading or reading makes me like sleepy, you know. And then I have Duolingo, which I used to learn. I used to, like, I, I learned German, which I know a little bit of, like, not really. And then I also use it to brush up on my French, because I, like, if, if you guys know me, I you guys know that I've known French since I was five, so, I mean, yeah. Then I have Heart Out, which I am using for my Allstate audition. Then um, I just have my music folder, and I have Spotify. Like I mentioned in my last video, I use Spotify all of the time. Then I have Shazam, which I also use all the time. And then I have Pano Tuner, which I use to tune my violin and also to tune my ukulele. Then I have the piano app in case I need to like run some chords in my in my brain or like if I'm trying to figure out a note to like a like a, a song, like it just helps my brain process things better. Okay, so sorry, the camera went out of storage. Okay. Okay, so the next app that I have is just Chordify, and um, I use it to search up chords for like whenever I'm playing piano mostly when I'm playing piano and also sometimes when I am playing ukulele I just search up the um, song that I want to play and then it comes up with all these different versions and it like quantifies it which is great the next app that I have is just podcasts I really like podcasts it's a I, I like Apple Podcasts. I really like this app. It's like one, like free, like which I like, which like most of the Apple apps, like Apple Music, it's not free. Like it's kind of dumb, honestly. And Apple TV, it's not free either. Going off on a whole other tangent. Anyways, but um, I used to listen to all my podcasts on Spotify. Now there's there are some um, podcasts that I still listen to on Spotify just because they're Spotify exclusive. But I like the layout of Apple Podcasts better. So then I just have this widget right here on the right, and it's just a friends widget, and it is, it's, it's my pride and joy. I really like it. Like, oh my god, like. Like Friends is like my favorite show and I just it's it, it just brings me all of the joy in the world. Then I just have um the shopping folder and then I have Starbucks, the 7-Eleven app, Baskin Robbins, Shutterfly, which I don't really use that much, and then I have Depop. I love Depop. So like I've been really into like the kind of like Y2K fashion trend and like the like the tiny shirt, like baggy jeans kind of like fashion trend. I really like that. Um I don't know, I think my um fashion has been like expanding since like TikTok and everything. I also really like um like the baguette bags. They're so cute. I'll show a picture up here. Yeah, I really like the baguette bags bags. I think they're very, very like cute. Anyways, then I have the Chase app, which is just my bank. Then I have PayPal and then I have Venmo as well. And then I have Aftership for when I order things, like um, I used it for my penny board, and then I have a QR code scanner, which um, I actually used to um, scan a menu for this place, this ramen place that I went to about like a couple weeks ago. So yeah. Then I just have the calculator app, pretty boring, pretty self-explanatory. Then I have the camera, the Canon Camera Connect app, and then the last widget that I have is just Mia Thermopolis of Genovia from the one and only Princess Diaries and she's just indulging in nice vanilla ice cream and it's also a stacked widget so I have this one then I also have this one 
queen. And then we also have the Chanel, um, what is it? The Chanel logo, with, like, um, on top of the newspaper, which is very, very cute. So, yeah. <laughs> I forgot to show you guys this, like, bottom row, but basically it's pretty self-explanatory. I just have the, um, phone, you call people, Safari. I search things up then I also have iMessage and then FaceTime I use iMessage all the time and then FaceTime I use all the time as well so um yeah so this is a better look of like my wallpaper I think it's very very cute like very cute like I I, I made it myself out of like other wallpapers that I had seen it kind of like matches like kind of like one of my aesthetics because I have way too many to count but um it just has like Chanel like like a very like high fashion that has like Paris and like Europe like I'm obsessed with Europe and I just think it's very nice so yeah so that is it for this week's video I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing what is on my iPhone I really had a lot of fun and I've like been like putting off filming this video because like I just like I couldn't figure out what I wanted my theme for iOS 14 to be did I want it to be like girly did I want it to be like 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 grunge did I want it to be like retro or did I want it to be like indie and kid core I just could not like decide there were so many different things but I finally like I I'm very happy, but you best believe that I'm going to change this in about two weeks. So, um, yeah, and um, as always, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!